So I have this buddy of mine that I go camping with. His name is Ryan. You remember Ryan, right? You know what's funny? He actually shot that video with my camera and he thought I'd see it later and laugh and I did. And guess what? I use it in my videos. Anyway, the last time I went camping, he had a cool new gadget. It was a leaf blower. And I thought, man, what a brilliant thing. Blow off the sand, blow off leaves, whatever. Get all that stuff cleared right off your outdoor carpet or whatever. I'm like, I've got to get one. So today we're going to continue our journey in the Works PowerShare line by taking a look at their 40 volt leaf blower. If you're new here, my name is Jeff and this is Jeff Reviews for you. I review a whole lot of products. I specialize in as seen on TV items. Once in a while, I do a little bit of a DIY just because I like to. If that interests you, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and click the bell below. That way you're notified every time I release a video just like this one. One more thing, don't forget to check down the description for my social media, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. I would love it if you would follow me there too. Let's take a closer look at this works. 40 volt power share leaf blower to see if it's any good. Here unboxed is the 40 volt works leaf blower. Now I will say works has a 20 volt version, but my thought is when there's a 40 volt, why would you go with a 20? All right, so this package came with the leaf blower, the two attachments, two 20 volt batteries, a charger, and the direction. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to charge up these batteries and then read through the directions and test out this sweet 40 volt leaf blower. Very similar to the batteries that I received with my works 40 volt chainsaw. These ones have battery indicators here and all you do is just slide them down onto this charger. I do like this charger because it's, well, it's half the size of the other one. Click it in. And then you see this light already started blinking and now they're both charging. So we will fully test out this unit when it's charged. As the batteries are charging, we can install the tube to the leaf blower here. So you wanna line these up and it is pretty tight to push against, but you wanna get it to where it just did that little bit of a click. And then now I could hook this in so it's all hooked up together. In preparation for redoing this deck, let's use our works leaf blower to clean it off. Little turbo boost. Now just to hit it with the pressure washer and restain it. The leaf blower does a great job on its own. And when you cycle through all the different speeds, you get to the very top and you're like, I need some more power. It's really nice to have this turbo button to push. That being said, the turbo function is a battery drainer. Like if I hold this down, this entire battery will be drained out in less than 20 minutes, which is frustrating because I like it on the turbo boost. Nothing like making light work of the cleanup after mowing the lawn, getting all the grass off. I would love to hear your thoughts of the works 40 volt leaf blower. Let me know down in the comment section below. I would love to hear from you. You know what? I think that this makes light work out of cleanup. And guess what? I was even able to blow up an inflatable kayak. With that being said, let's talk about power consumption. Earlier I talked about how using the turbo runs down the battery. Well, if you didn't run the turbo, you just ran this on low speed, you get about one hour of use before the batteries are done. And then you have to fill those batteries back up or recharge them, and that takes about three and a half hours. That's a long time. Now, let me show you something that I discovered solely by accident, but it was still pretty cool. Let's check it out. Just for fun, we're gonna drop a ball in the leaf blower and see how far we can launch it. Ready? Here's the moment of truth. We're gonna put it all the way to high and then hit turbo. Let's see how far this went. I'm glad I have these lines on the ground. All right, so this line here is 10 feet. This next line is 20 feet and it looks as though we went about 19 feet. That's pretty impressive. This video, we were looking at the works 40 volt 
leaf blower. So what did I think of it? One, I love that it's battery operated. You charge up your batteries and it's just ready to go because there is nothing more frustrating than trying to wrestle with a gas powered leaf blower. I mean, you have to get the right gas mixture. What if it's been sitting too long? You got to clean it out, the carburetor, all that kind of stuff. This one, charge it up and it's ready to roll. I also really like the power. I was pretty impressed with it on low, medium, and high. And then adding that boost, man, that was absolutely amazing. And it gets the job done. What didn't I like about this? Well, one, the battery consumption lasting only an hour on two 20 volt batteries. That is not a whole long time. Um, I wish it would have lasted longer. And I'm the kind of person that uses that boost. So it lasts even less. Um, also the size of it, it's kind of big and heavy. And I guess I could have went with the 20 volt one, but that just seemed a bit cumbersome to me. In my opinion, this is great for someone just at home, cleaning out the garage, the driveway, maybe the porch, um, or going camping and cleaning off your carpet. Definitely not for any kind of commercial use. Anyway, that was my review of the Works 40 Volt Leaf Blower. If this is something that interests you, I will leave a link down in the description. This is Jeff with Jeff Reviews for You. As always, thanks for stopping by and I hope you have a great day. Of course, camping at the beach is a lot of fun, except for all the sand. Let's use our Works 40 Volt Leaf Blower to help us out. It's pretty good on regular mode, but the turbo mode makes for easy cleanup. I really do appreciate that you stayed around for my entire review of the Works 40 Volt Leaf Blower. You know what? During this video, behind me, I had two of my other Works PowerShare products that I reviewed. One was a Nail Force, which is a nail gun, and the other one was a 40 volt chainsaw. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link the nail gun right up here, and I'm gonna link the chainsaw right over here. So if you've not seen either of those videos, I would love it if you would click here or here. And by the magic of the internet, when you click one of these links, I'm gonna join you at that review. So go ahead, click one, they're safe, I promise.